Everyone and General Yoshida, a wonderful uh, to see you here, sir. Uh, honored to to see you again, and uh, thank you for making the effort to come to this exercise. And to Consul General uh, Larson, thank you so much for being here. Very, very uh, helpful to have uh, such leadership with us as we embark on an excellent exercise. You know, I'm I'm surrounded by uh, a group of friends uh, up here on the dais, and uh, I couldn't be more excited and fired up uh, to be here for Exercise uh, Malabar 24. And so for uh, Admiral uh, Pendiper, thank you for hosting phenomenal uh, opportunity to work together and certainly for uh, for Admiral Smith and Vice Admiral uh, Omachi a pleasure to serve with you in this exercise and uh, thank you you know last year we conducted the exercise off the coast of East Australia uh, and this year Malabar has returned to its birthplace uh, the Indian Ocean we welcome the opportunity to train here with our Malabar partners and I look forward to the outstanding exercise as demonstrated by the U.S. Pacific Fleet presence here, we value this partnership with the Indian with the Indian Navy and acknowledge India's key role in the Indo-Pacific. Together, we have increased our maritime patrol aircraft operations in the Indian Ocean. The U.S. Navy support ships now receive regular maintenance in the Indian shipyards. We're supporting the Indian defense modernization through co-development and co-production of major defense platforms. And our exercises together continue to expand in scale and scope. Earlier this year, we sent ships to India to participate in Exercise Milan, and over the, and and the largest ever exercise, Tiger Triumph. Over the summer, we welcomed uh, the Indian Navy ship Shivalik to Rimpac, uh, and an Indian Navy P8 uh, for the largest maritime exercise on the planet. During RIMPAC 24, Shivalik showcased to the world's navies her extraordinary professionalism and exceptional naval gunnery skills. She won the RIMPAC Naval Gunfire Support Competition, and just last month, uh, our Navy counterparts were in uh, Exercise Yudabas. Our groundbreaking operations with India occur in context of historic levels of U.S. Pacific Fleet activity in the Indian Ocean. Those include Indian Ocean operations by our rotational littoral combat ships in Singapore and our increased operations out of Western Australia. We also recognize the broader significance of the Indian Ocean. A third of the world's bulk, bulk cargo and two thirds of global oil pass through its sea lanes, as you all here know. Our combined activities in the Indian Ocean promote this free trade and shared prosperity reinforced by the rules-based international order that every one of my colleagues mentioned today. That order is based on values and ideals that have stabilized the world for generations. It includes preventing the change of borders by force, maintaining freedom of the seas, and prohibitions against the use of weapons of mass destruction. It is the common cause our allies and partners rally around. That common cause of global order based on values and ideals make our alliances and partnerships unbreakable. We advance a shared vision for Indo-Pacific where all countries, regardless of size or strength, are secure in their sovereignty and free from coercion. Our shared vision underpins our strong network of professional militaries throughout the Indo-Pacific. It is upheld routinely by the U.S. Pacific Fleet, but certainly with our multinational partners represented here. It drives us more together. And make no mistake, we're doing more together. Our recent actions with our allies and partners are historic and part of a new convergence in the Indo-Pacific. 
Our combined capabilities and links with like-minded nations. Oh yeah, I can't turn on it. Oh, that's right. I don't want to run. 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 ಮಾತಾಡ್ಲಾ <laughs> 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 ಒಂದ್ ಐದ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ ಕೊಡು ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಬಂದ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಶಾಂತಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ